20 shopping days to go. We're busy buying stuff, we'll never be enough. This whole season has us running to and fro. We're running out of room for Christmas. So many different parties to attend. We're running out of room for Christmas. When will this busy season ever end? Who has the time to see a hot cocoa? Or share a piece of pumpkin pie? Within the shopping list, who knows what all we've missed? So many tiny trinkets yet to buy. We're running out of room for Christmas. There's only eight more shopping days to go. We're busy buying stuff, real we'll whatever be enough. This whole season has us running to and fro. We're running out of room for Christmas. So many different parties to attend. Scrooge. What am I paying you to do? Design on Christmas cards. Huh. Well, we'll see about that. Read me the one you're working on. Okay. <clears throat> Snowflakes are white. Sleigh bells are jingly. I hope your Christmas feels all warm and tingly. Merry un-Christmas. All warm and tingly? What kind of un-Christmas card is that? Where's the sarcasm? Where's the edge? Miss Scrooge, can't we do some cards that are nice? Ah, humbug. Let me show you how it's done. Write this down. Uh, holly is prickly. Noses are runny. Your breath's like a clown. Cause it sure smells funny. Merry un-Christmas. Aw, oh, Miss Scrooge, really? It'll sell, Cratchit. That's the bottom line. Is money what really matters? It's what matters around here, bub. Speaking of money, if you don't start coming up with some better un-Christmas card ideas, you're going to be making a lot less money. Yes, Miss Scrooge. I'll try harder. You better. Okay, let's see. One coin for me, two coins for me. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten coins for me. One for Cratchit. Eleven coins for me. Twelve coins for me. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen coins for me. Ah! Counting all my money sure is hard work. I think I'll give myself a little bonus. I deserve it. <laughs> now where was I? Ah, oh, yes. Eighteen coins for me. Nineteen coins for me. Miss Scrooge? What? What do you want? It's six o'clock. Oh, I suppose you want to go home early because it's Christmas Eve. Yes, ma'am. Bah, humbug. Next he'll ask to have Christmas Day off. And since tomorrow is Christmas... Here it comes. I was wondering if I could spend the day with my boy. You want the whole Christmas Day off? Um... Cratchit! Do I look like the kind of woman who cares about Christmas? Um... Well, I'm not! If you want to waste good, productive time to be with your boy tomorrow just because it's Christmas, out of the sheer goodness of my heart, I'll allow it. Oh, well, thank you, Miss Scrooge. Not so fast, Cratchit. I'll need you to take some work home with you. I want ten new un-Christmas card ideas on my desk first thing the day after Christmas. Homework? On Christmas? It's either homework on Christmas or no work the day after. Get me, bub? Yes, Miss Scrooge. Now get out of here before I change my mind. Thank you, Miss Scrooge. A Merry Christmas! Uh, 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 uh. 
Merry un-Christmas. Merry un-Christmas. Good. Maybe with him out of here, I can get back to the important work of counting my money. Twenty coins for me. Twenty-one coins for me. Twenty-two. Twenty-three. Twenty-four. I haven't heard that since the days of my old business partner, Marley. Oh, but Marley died years ago. This is just a crazy dream. Must have been that breakfast burrito I had earlier. It's me, all right. Come back here to warn you, man. Warn me? About what? About your fate. About... Who are those two behind you? These are my backup singers. Backup singers. The backup singers I forged in life, man. Every time I chose greed over goodness, every time I chose power over people, these backup singers were being made. Backup singers? That, that doesn't sound so bad. You say that now, man, but try it for eternity and see how it feels. Every time I brush my teeth, brush his teeth, tie my shoes, tie his shoes, or anything else, these relentless tormentors are right there. It's horrible. And let me tell you, Abby Scrooge, your permanent backup singers are being made even now, and they're louder than mine. Louder? Okay, okay. What can I do, Marley? Let me tell you. Tonight, 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 you're gonna have some visitors tonight. When you hear the clock strike one, ooh, nowhere to hide, nowhere to run. Ooh, 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 the past is where the visitors will take you, and memories will shake you. Tonight, 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 you're gonna have some visitors. Tonight. When you hear the clock strike two, ooh, there's not a thing that you can do. Ooh, ooh, ooh. They're gonna make you see things in the present, and it will not be pleasant. Tonight, tonight, tonight you're gonna have some visitors tonight. When you hear the clock strike three, ooh, they're gonna take you out to sea. Ooh, 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 your life ahead, and you will find it frightening, but it could be enlightening. Tonight. Tonight you better learn to change your ways tonight 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 you better tonight, learn to every change, change your ways, ways tonight 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 you better tonight, learn to change, change your ways tonight That Marley say what you will he sure could sing but backup singers? Late night visitors? Huh, now I know I'm dreaming. Yeah. Ooh, just a dream. Tonight, I'm going to have some visitors. Boo. Boo. Green, what are you doing? We're ghosts, right, Blue? Boo, boo. But we don't say boo. Oh, right. Trick or treat. We're not Halloween ghosts. We're the ghosts of Christmas past. Now take off that sheet. We have work to do. What kind of work, Blue? Just do what I do. Abby Scrooge, Abby Scrooge. Abby Scrooge! Abby Scrooge! Ah! Ah! Who are you? We are ghosts. Ooh, and we've come here to... Green! Sorry. We are the ghosts of Christmas past. Uh, perhaps Marley told you about us. 
We're here to take you back to your past. My past? What do we need to go back there for? To learn. Learn? From my past? <laughs> I don't think so, bub. Been there, done that, got the t-shirt. I think she's resisting us, Blue. Shall I get the stun gun? No, I don't think that will be necessary. Come with us, Scrooge. Your fate depends on it. Humbug. Oh, I might as well go. The sooner I do, the sooner I can get rid of them and go back to sleep. All right, ghosts of Christmas past, let's go. Yay! Set time travel for 40 years ago. Green! Green! Huh? We're here. Oh. Where are we? Where have you brought me? Don't you recognize this place? Wait a second. This is my old house. A and there's my mom. Mom! Hey, Mom! She can't see you or hear you. This is all in your past. Look, is that me? It's you, when you were a child, still full of the wonder of Christmas. Aw, you sure were cute. What happened? Green, shh. Just watch. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, how lovely are your branches. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, how lovely are your branches. So green when summer days are bright, and even through the winter white. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, how lovely are your branches. Oh, it's a beautiful tree. Yeah. Too bad there's nothing to put under it. Yeah. Oh, Ebby, I'm sorry. It's been a slow year. Don't worry, Mom. It's okay. When I grow up, I'm going to make lots of money. We'll have so many presents, we'll have to get a bigger tree. I think the tree we have is just fine. And I'll get you everything. <gasps> a new hat. Ebby. Twenty dresses. All the books you can read. Ebby. I don't need any of those things for Christmas, as long as I always have you. Well, gee, Mom, you already got me. Promise? Sure, Mom, I promise. So, what happened? Well, I grew up and made lots of money. And? And I bought Mom a big house and got her all kinds of presents. And? And? What do you mean, and? And? Did you keep your promise? My promise? Hello? Ebby, oh, it's good to hear from you. Do you think you'll be able to make it tonight? Work? Oh, but Ebby, you already work so hard. It's Christmas Eve. Yes, I got the package, but I understand. No, uh, I didn't go to too much trouble. All right, Ebby. Merry Christmas. <sighs> so did she? Did she what? Keep her promise. What do you think? I don't know. I could only hear one side of the conversation. No! No, I didn't keep my promise. And now it's too late. Or is it? Can you take me back to... Hello? Anybody there? Oh, maybe I've been working too hard. It's making me have the strangest dreams. But what if this is real? Green, why do you have a big Christmas bow on your head? It's two o'clock, Blue, remember? We're the ghosts of Christmas presents. Where's your bow? It's not presents as in gifts. It's present as in the here and now. Oops. Take that bow off immediately. We have work to do. That's more like it. Now we're already late, so... Hey! Ah! Ah! Aren't you two the same ghosts as before? No, we are two totally different ghosts. Ooh. But you look just like the last two. I told you we should have worn the bows. Shh. We are the ghosts of Christmas present. But... Just go with it. We are here to show you how your actions and your words affect those around you. Set time travel for this Christmas morning. Do do. We're here. Time travel to the present doesn't take very long. Where are we now? This is the very modest home of your employee, Bob Cratchit. 
and his dear child, Tiny Tim. Tiny Tim, I hope I didn't wake you up. No, Dad, I was ready to get up anyway. Well, as long as you're up, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Dad. <coughs> what are you working on? Some cards Miss Scrooge gave me for homework. I thought if I got an early start, then you and I could spend the rest of the day together. When our teacher gives us homework, we don't really like it very much. But we know she does it because she cares and wants the best for us. <coughs> Is that why Miss Scrooge gave you homework? Something like that. I've got an idea. I can work on a card, too. And we can keep each other company. I would love that. Here's some paper. That paper is from my shop, you know. That'll come out of Cratch's pay. <coughs> Tim, that cough isn't getting any better. It's always worse in the morning, Dad. You know that. But it's been dragging on for so long, and the doctors said... Come on, Dad. It's Christmas. <sighs> You're right. And done. You can have finished your card already. I have. Want me to read it to you? Sure. Dear Miss Scrooge. You made a card for Miss Scrooge? Uh-huh. Dear Miss Scrooge, thank you so much for letting my dad have the whole day off for Christmas. You must be very nice. Do you want to be my friend? Merry Christmas. Tiny Tim. He wants me to be his friend? Tim, that's a lovely card. I'll make sure Miss Scrooge gets it first thing tomorrow. Yeah. But now I don't have a card for you. Son, you don't ever have to get me a thing. Fa la 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 la. Fa la 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 la. Fa la 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 la. Fa la 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 la. Christmas card or a gift beneath the tree When the greatest gift of all is the one here next to me I would trade in every Christmas card I've ever had If it meant just one more day when I could be your dad. My Merry Christmas is you. It's all the special things you say, the little things you do. You're the I don't need a candy cane or a stocking hung with care. I don't need a sleigh bell's ring to hear music in the air. I don't need a brand new bike or the latest, greatest toy. All I need to make me smile is to know that I'm your boy. My Merry Christmas is you. It's all the special things you say, the little things you do.
Christmas, Dad, is you. Fa la 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 la. Fa la 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 la. Fa la 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 la. Fa la 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 la. Fa la la. Come back! I'll be your friend. So what happens? What happens to Tiny Tim? He'll be okay, right? Right? But without Tiny Tim, Cratchit would be all alone, like me. Oh, sure. Leave now. Show me this tender little scene, so I'll have some change of heart. Did you really expect that to work? Well, it did, sort of. Okay, so it worked. Are you happy? Fine. I'll just wait and ask the next visitors when they come. They should be here any second. Five hours of math homework. Plaid bell bottoms. Green, what are you doing? Now we're the ghosts of Christmas future, right? Right. The scariest visitors of all, right? Right. Well, I'm saying scary things. Undercooked pork. Green. An elephant with a runny nose. Green. The ghosts of Christmas future don't say anything. That's what makes them so scary. Oh. Completely silent. Ooh. So you're the ghosts of Christmas future. And you can't say anything. And you're here to show me something important. I've seen a lot of strange things tonight. All right then, do what you must. For she's a jolly good fellow. For she's a jolly good fellow. For she's a jolly good fellow. <sighs> Which nobody can deny. Fifty years. I gave fifty years building this un-Christmas card business from the ground up, and not so much as a great job or that a girl. But surely I'm not completely alone. I mean, Cratchit is still there. Oh, well then I really do end up completely alone. This is the place I was telling you about. Look at all that space. Wow, it's perfect. Say, what did this place used to be? Some kind of greeting card business. I can't remember the old owner's name. Something Stooge, I think. Scrooge, Abby Scrooge. <sighs> Can it be? After all that time, I'm completely forgotten. It's like nothing I did mattered. <laughs> Check out this old desk. They sure don't make them like they used to. Hey, there's a card in here. Looks homemade from some kid named Tim. Tim. Here, just hand that to me. I'll throw it out for you. You put that down right now. That's very important. It's the only card in this whole place that ever really meant something. Okay, I've seen enough. Please take me back. I'll start over. I'll get it right this time. I can change. Abby Scrooge. Green, what are you doing? Abby Scrooge, you can never go back. You can only go forward in a new direction. Green, we're supposed... Whoa. Green, that was good. Really? I've been practicing that one. A new direction. Ooh. A new direction? Can I even go in a new direction? I've been this way for so long. They might just as well have said, Abby Scrooge, turn purple. <laughs> new direction? Yeah, a new direction. It just might work. Oh, won't he be surprised to hear my voice? <laughs> Cratchit, Abby Scrooge here. I need you to come down to the workshop right now. Yes, I know what time it is. Yes, I know what day it is. Look, bub, 
Do you like your job? Oh, well, let me rephrase the question. Would you like to keep your job? That's what I thought. Get down here immediately. And bring that boy of yours, too. Ooh, this is so exciting! I can't wait for them to get here. Let's see, what can I do while I wait? Ah, I know! I'll count my coins! That's what I always do when I'm excited. <laughs> okay, one coin for me, two coins for me. Oh, this isn't working. I'm just too excited. Okay, Miss Scrooge, we're here. I brought the un-Christmas cards you told me to work on. Never mind those un-Christmas cards, Cratchit. But isn't that why you called me in so early? No. You see, Cratchit? I've decided it's time to go in a new direction. A new direction? No, please, Miss Scrooge. I'll do better. I'll try harder. I'll work longer hours. I'm afraid that won't work, Cratchit. You're the worst un-Christmas card writer I know, and there's nothing you can do about it. But there's something I can do about it. Miss Scrooge, please. Cratchit, I am releasing you from my employ and making you my partner. Your partner? But I'm terrible at writing un-Christmas cards. You said so yourself. True. But what if I didn't want to have an un-Christmas card business anymore? What if I wanted to turn this place into a Christmas card workshop? Wouldn't I want to start by keeping the best Christmas card writer I know? Well, sure. Then what do you say, Cratchit? Will you be my partner? I don't know. It would mean doing what you love, for better pay and working less hours so you could spend more time with family. Say yes, Dad. Say yes. Okay. Yes, I accept. Thank you, Miss Scrooge. Cratchit, we're partners now. Call me Ebby. Thank you, Ebby. You can call me Bob. Miss Scr... Ebby, why the change? Bob, let's just say I've had a change of heart. There's something warm and wonderful now. I feel it deep in my heart. Dad, she's singing. It's like the greatest day in my life is just about to start. Just smile and nod, Tim. The most important thing in the world was right in front of my nose. And now you've got this feeling. It goes way, way down to the tips of your toes. It's more than laughter. More than love. It's more than the wonder of the stars above. This brand new feeling is Christmas. Christmas!